Welcome back to the Chattanooga Burger Tour presented by Dr. Pepper. Today we're at Flying Squirrel. We got a new burger, the Smash Burger. So we're looking forward to tasting that. Can't wait. Look, I even brought my silverware. What are we talking about? We don't need silverware. We're eating burgers. Let's go. Welcome back to Chattanooga Burgers, we're presented by Dr. Pepper. I am JD, and we are my favorite spot in the city. Now, Joe felt the need to give away my hidden gem in Chattanooga. So since he did, I'm gonna eat this burger for you, tell you how wonderful it is, and then please ask you to not crowd the place on Tuesday nights. We have here the Smash Burger. Now, as you can tell, like Joe, I'm impatient, and I've already taken a bite. I couldn't help it, I know how great this burger is. You got some Dijon aioli on there, caramelized onions. Man, this sucker looks good. Oh, so right off the top, the aioli mixed in with the caramelized onions. That's an explosion of flavor. It's amazing, can't be beat. Oh, so I'm about to finish this burger and uh, we're gonna get to Joe here and uh, he can uh, keep giving away my favorite spot in the city. Welcome back to the Chattanooga Burger Tour presented by Dr. Pepper. We're at Flying Squirrel and this is the main attraction, the Smash Burger. I don't know if you can see, but I've already had a bite because it would look really, really good. So I apologize for that. Actually, I don't. I, it tasted really good. So uh, we have the se black sesame seed bun. We've got American cheese and a host of other items on this burger. We'll probably, you're probably seeing everything that's on the burger right now on the screen. Uh, so I'm going to take a bite here and I, I was... I've already had an idea of what to expect. As you can see, I already had a bite. And that's just a good burger. It really is. The cheese, the onions, and uh, I love that bun. That bun is so tasty. Uh, it, that really stands out. Uh, so definitely you want to check out the Smash Burger. Coming up, we're going to speak with Dan of Flying Squirrel. He's going to tell us a little bit about the menu, the origins of Flying Squirrel, and what to expect when you get here. You're going to love it. I know that. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome back. Right now we have Dan Rose, co-owner of Flying Squirrel. Dan, first and foremost, man, thanks for having us out. Thank you for coming. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So um, just tell us a little bit first uh, about the origins of Flying Squirrel because it's uh, tucked down tucked down in here in the south side and just uh, mm -hmm. and the vibe here is pretty incredible. Thank you. So when we opened, this neighborhood looked a lot different. We opened up the crash pad hostel next door right. back in 2011 and it was something of a ghost town down here and we had a bar restaurant concept that we wanted to incorporate into that that necessarily sort of grew into a, a separate phase and so as we got the hostel operation under wraps we switched gears got into the design of this place and even then by the time we opened the restaurant in 2013 there were very few options down here. Right. So over those years, we've seen this crazy explosion of different bars and restaurants on this side of town. Yeah, it's been it's been kind of the best of both worlds in a way because when we moved in here, we weren't constrained by other concepts to either side. We really got to do whatever we wanted to do, be whatever kind of place we wanted to be, and ultimately just kind of do what we want. Now, we've got a lot more to respond to now to stay relevant, sure. to stay in the... in the. Get up your game, so. Yeah, exactly. We've had to up our game. But fortunately, because this used to be kind of like a locals only area, and over the last few years, we've seen this great increase in tourism yeah, traffic sure. down here, we've got constantly new people coming in. Uh, not just out of towners, but also people who don't live right downtown who still haven't heard of us because we've never really marketed that much. Sure. So, sure. it's uh, we, we feel well-established on the one hand, 
and like we have a enormous untapped market still, even though we've been open for eight years. It's been eight years. It's been eight years. Wow. Well, I, I can't didn't do realize that. that. Maybe it's been seven years. <laughs> See, seven years. I mean, this deal. That's crazy. Yeah. I'm getting old. Me too. <laughs> so let's get to the food. Uh, right. We had this is the Chattanooga Burger Tour after all. Mm -hmm. We had the Smash Burger. That's my first time having the Smash Burger, and I got to tell you, man, I'm impressed. The and I was speaking with JD oh. earlier. You know the way the uh, the onions mix in with the bun that mixes in with the patty, the cheese, and everything that's on that uh, that hamburger. Mm -hmm. It works. It really works. Awesome. Glad you felt that way. We um we went six years without ever having a burger actually on our menu, wow. and a thousand people told us we were crazy. You're a bar. <laughs> You've got to give the people what, you, yeah, what they yeah. want. But Main Street Meats, rightful claim to potential best burger in town. Terminal's got burgers, sure. Slick's got burgers, right. they specialize in them in fact. So while we've never been huge on trying to stay in a lane as it were, we've also kind of for that reason left it to the, left it to the experts, but at the end of the day we decided it was time. Well, I mean, it's always good to have that option. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't necessarily have to specialize in it like sure. like a slicks, but yeah. uh, you, you know, as long as you have that available, because mm -hmm. you have someone coming here that this is their spot, right? Yep. If they really love hamburgers too, mm -hmm. you know, well, mm -hmm. got to have it here, so sure uh, they can stick around. And, and in the context of our menu, you know, for better or worse, we like food that is a little esoteric. We're not the most accessible place to eat down here. Right. There's a lot of people that pass us over in favor of restaurants that have more approachable food, and we're at peace with that because we make the kind of food that makes us happy. But I feel like this burger is squarely in the lane of something that your average diner can wrap their heads around and become attached to. There's nothing mysterious about it. There's something comforting about that. Well, it's uh, it's there's some simplicity there, mm -hmm. and when you match that simplicity with the taste mm -hmm. and the flavor, mm -hmm. uh, it just really works. Yep. And, uh, the Smash Burger is a fantastic burger at the at Flying Squirrel. So, talk a little bit about the rest of your menu and mm -hmm. when people come in, what they can expect. Sure. The things that are important to us are are buying as much and buying and showcasing as much local food as we possibly can. Perfect. We want stuff that shares well that looks good on a plate, that's memorable, and beyond that. I like that, that, memorable. Memorable, yeah. We've never had a, a food concept that puts us in a box. Now, that's been a liability at times because there's this feeling of uh, uh, lack of identity is not the best way to put it, but for lack of better words, putting new stuff on the menu isn't as simple as saying, you know, we're a deli. So we do sandwiches. We're a pizza place. We make pizza. Right. We can still kind of do anything, but as long as it fits within those guidelines of what's important to us, it works here. So you're but you're you're working off of that. You don't want to be necessarily placed in a specific genre exactly. of food. You know, it's yeah. hey, you can come here and you you, you can expect a variety of mm -hmm. different items. Yeah, and it allows us the flexibility to dabble in. I mean, if we want to put Asian food on the menu. Yeah. Or anything. I love that. I love that flexibility. Yeah. And I'm sure you guys do too. We do. It's mostly a really, really good thing. So uh, we talked about the, the food, obviously the smash burger, uh, your menu. Do you guys cater? One day, we would love to <laughs> have that be a hard yes. We pick up catering gigs as we are able to. Okay. The nature of the business, the turnover. The unpredictability of sales sure. and things in a constantly changing neighborhood makes it really, really hard for us to have that part of the programming. But this is our first restaurant. We're only seven years old. We've got a lot of time You're to an some stuff out. We're a baby. <laughs> yeah. I can't even take care of myself. <laughs> there you go. Never mind somebody else over there that needs a thousand sandwiches. <laughs> right. So um, tell everyone your, your social media, where can they find you on the socials and yeah, how they Facebook. get in touch with you and where you located all that stuff. Sure. So Southside Chattanooga, 55 Johnson Street is our actual physical address. You can find us on Instagram at Squirrel Bar. We're on Facebook, Flying Squirrel Bar. Okay. You can call us. We pick up the phone. Do people do that still? 
We have hosts that handle that. I think that the phone rings. Yeah, and then beyond just for uh, brunch reservations that we don't take. So <laughs> that's awesome. Well, man, it's it's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, thanks again for having us. Thanks up. for and finding us. Your yes, mission absolutely. is a noble one. <laughs> well, you know we're doing uh, we're, we're doing uh, the work of many men mm -hmm. that wish they could do what we do, and it's yep. it's for America. It's for you, the people of, uh, people of America. Um, so. Yeah, where's my flag at? <laughs> uh, Dan Rose, Dan Rose, co-owner of Flying Squirrel, and th this is really a great—it's a great vibe here, and the food is even better. So get out of here and check it out. Till next time, this is the Chattanooga Burger Tour presented by Dr. Pepper. I'm the Cowboy. He's JD. This is Dan Rose, co-owner of Flying Squirrel. See ya. <laughs> <laughs>